All right, so we have covered the basics of the DRC dialog box, which is boring enough, but how does this rubber actually hit the road? We're going to demonstrate that uh, in this video. Um, what I've done here, uh, th this all looks the same, except that I loaded up one that I have used before. Uh, and I started with um, uh, one that came, a, a, a design rule file that came from Sunstone Circuits, and I have kind of changed it uh, over over time to kind of meet my needs. So, you know, it's all the same same stuff, but these numbers are based on um, uh, this particular board and the fabricator that I used for it. And I can't remember if it was Sunstone or not, but um, let's kind of take a look here real quick. So uh, this is a, a fairly densely populated board. There's a bunch of little bits and pieces on there. And if we go to DRC, the whole purpose of this thing is to identify violations in what we've designed uh, relative to uh, what the fabrication house is actually capable of making and and so we pull this thing up and we hit check it pulls up another dialog box and this whole thing where it pulls up boxes on a different window is crazy all right so what we see here is it's got a whole bunch of errors uh, here and the one that I'm most interested in uh, for this video is clearance we have some clearance problems when I open that up you can see there's 12 clearance issues they're all on layer one and when I click on one of them it highlights it so we can zoom in let's see we'll zoom in and be like oh yeah sure enough that via is super close to the pad of whatever this thing is a capacitor or something or resistor um, whatever it is um, these things are essentially overlapping so I can grab the move tool and watch the uh, the, the clearance up there oh it just went away check it out so that is all good so now that one is gone um, dealt with uh, this one uh, this is an interesting one so right here it's telling me that this differential pair these two traces are too close to each other and this little line right here is not actually uh, a feature that I drew this is something that Eagle design uh, draws on the screen in real time to tell me that there's a design rule violation there so if I click the the move button and I move these things apart that goes away and you can see that the errors on the list go away and as I get closer the errors come back so there we go. So let's let's get this thing to where there's still an error, but just barely, kind of kind of where it was. And here we go. We've got our clearance issues. And at this point, I can decide. I can either move those traces uh, further apart to get rid of the error, or I can go and look at adjusting the rules. Like, is it practical to adjust the rules? In this particular case, it's really important that the the distance between one and the other is actually crucial for an impedance controlled trace. So let's go back to the DRC menu. Once again, dialog, outer space. Thank you very much, Eagle. Total pain in my butt. Anyway, so let's go to clearance. Oh, look at that. The clearance is set up on this board at six mils. I am 100% positive on this particular board and on this particular uh, the fab house that makes it uh, four mils not a problem at all in the slightest um, this is a, a really expensive board uh, it's not even made out of FR4 so let's see so we'll hit apply and look what just happened that whole thing just went away it's like oh yeah four mil spacing not a problem we're totally good there so now when we hit check what do we see here there's none there are no clearance uh, errors at all anymore because everything has been um, it's like now the rules are are uh, easier uh, to to design around. So anything any any place that there was a problem, uh, we've already dealt with it. So now we have uh, dimension uh, errors, and what are those? Those are you know essentially like copper to the uh, if you recall like how close the copper gets to the edge of the board. And look at this. In this case, let me zoom out. So you can get your bearings. So this white line is the outline of the board it's kind of a crazy shaped board and this pad goes right up to the edge of the board um, inside of that little clearance zone you can see the little graphic graphically depicted how it's uh, violating that and in this case uh, not a problem I love that uh, I don't really love it but this is an edge mount uh, PCB uh, an edge mount BNC connector that goes on there there's nothing I can do about it the copper has to be exactly where it is 
And if the routing tool that cuts this thing out nicks that or bumps into it, I don't really care. It's not going to have any impact on there. So on that one, I can just say approve. And look, that one is the same one, approve. Uh, this one, on the other hand, uh, let's see. And forgive me for not being entirely familiar with this board. I designed this a long time ago and don't recall. But here is another hole that's really, really close to another hole. Uh, the connector holes like that actually may be a mistake and so here we have the the design rule check just identified something that is most likely a problem that somehow needs to be addressed and fixed at the design level this isn't something I can uh, you know change the rules to fix effectively I'm gonna have to move something somewhere uh, to to kind of reduce this conflict because if you get drills that are too close to each other it'll kind of break through and even if you don't care about that mess that it's going to make out of the FR4 the fab house will refuse to do it because when the drills get too close and they break through it breaks the drill and that then they have to buy another drill they have to go to another holder and, and you know all that kind of stuff so they're just going to say no on something like that so that's one I'm actually gonna to have to fix and this is the beauty of the whole DRC setting up the rules so that you can see things that are physically impossible uh, uh, to deal with um, or you can just determine how much well maybe something is more expensive but it's but it's worth it so now as we we know that these little graphics mean that there's a conflict so now we can see hey look at that this copper uh, on this pad whatever this is, is getting it's getting too close for comfort on this um, on this particular hole and I can decide for myself well you know what I'm gonna take my chances it'll be fine you know when they drill that hole it might nick off this corner but it's, you know who really cares uh, in this case this trace is too close to the hole uh, so I can grab this one I can say you know what maybe I'll try to route this one a little bit better you know what that worked out fine so I moved it I got rid of the error um, I'm far enough away from the hole for it to you know to be happy with me Here's another thing where a um, vias are too close to the hole. Um, so I can either fix those things by moving the via, deleting the via, changing it. The point is that it's showing me this huge list of errors and, um, and, and issues, but they're based on the rules that I set up in the first place. Um, here's a, uh, see, drill distance. Uh, where's, ah, what drill distance means, uh, this is a good one. This is a good one. These are two vias that accidentally got stacked up on top of each other. See that? I moved one. In this case, I'll probably just delete this one. Goodbye. Um, that's a that's a major problem. The the, the fabricator is going to look at that and go, uh, and then so they'll get the thing and they're going to be like, ah, I don't think we can do this. It's probably a mistake from the customer, and then they're going to email me and they have to wait for me to respond and all that kind of stuff, and then I'll have to send them a new set of Gerbers. All of that stuff is just, it's, it's a pain. Uh, so this is, um, where we're, we are identifying all of these, these issues and problems with our board way, 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 way ahead of time. Um, so under warnings, let's skip to warnings. Um, actually, what a width. Hey, I think that this one is telling me that the width, oh yeah, that's true. The width of this copper, uh, of this, of right here is, um, is too thin based on the design rules in reality it's probably not so I'd probably change the design rules on that one um, but then we have here we have unconnected wires um, where are those that is telling me that if we go to our layers I'm gonna turn off everything and I'm just gonna turn on unrouted yep sure enough so these tiny little things right here mean there's signals that aren't quite connected on the board. And that's the warning it's given me. It's like, you know what, you haven't fully connected everything. Are you sure about that? And I would probably need to go check that. Wire stubs, uh, let me move over to that one. Let me show you what that looks like in the list. Wire stubs, these are pretty good, but I need to turn on the layers so that you can see. There we go. What that is referring to is dangling little routes um, in this case you, you can't even tell so inside of, of this guy if I hit the little delete button and I select next I get, there we go delete so what that did there was a tiny little route inside of there that was going to nothing 
um, because it was on top of another one, the fabricator is not going to notice the difference, but you can see these things. Um, sometimes they, they get uh, bigger. In fact, I can take that thing and kind of move it um, so you can see, or just make it bigger. So you can see that that was just like a dangling little piece of geometry in there that needs to go away. So now my, my wire stubs are slowly getting, getting smaller and smaller. Um, anyway, so that's uh, essentially uh, where you get to see the consequences of the rules that you have defined and, and how you, uh, the, kind of the basics of how you deal with them. This is, this is an incredibly important uh, thing to do up front to understand what can be fabricated, what can't be, what things are more expensive and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that, you know, as you're routing your board, you're routing it based on these rules and you'll see the errors uh, and, and issues as you route it. Um, you know, if I, if I was adjusting this board and, and, and I kind of move this thing, um, let's see, let's pick one that's actually uh, possible to violate here. So if I grab this one and I start moving it around, it's like, oh, you know, it's a huge visual reminder right there where you see the graphics like oh you're getting too close you're getting too close and you're fine um, those are fantastic visual cues as you're designing the board to keep yourself out of trouble from the very beginning like I can see these design um, violations uh, visually right off the bat now this particular board was done before Eagle even had real-time uh, DRC this whole real-time DRC thing is a relatively new thing and so now I can kind of move these things around just like that until I get rid of my error where before you'd have to move it and then recheck it and then move it and recheck it so anyway count your lucky stars for those who you uh, so those of you who are new didn't have to deal with some of these older issues but there you go uh, DRC kind of in the nutshell um, there's a whole heck of a lot more that goes with that just like anything else but uh, that'll kind of get you started and uh, hopefully we will see you on the next one